You step into the cave and you feel a tugging on your ankle. Before you can stop yourself, you hear a click. Roll for saves. This is episode five. Um, today we're just going to continue J Fing's uh, adventure. Last time we played J Fing, uh, was still with Nala and J the Nala acquired J Fing a parrot and new rooms. Just really kind of bought J Fing's loyalty. Um, and as I established before, J Fing's really young. Um, and is kind of taken in by uh, this this excess of attention and uh, luxury. So um, Jay Fing's going to uh, be part of the heist tonight. Um, uh, technically, Jay Fing's job is to simply allow the sword archivists um, the blade archivist to come in and uh just do what they want take what they want out of the um cargo that's being transferred um just kind of supposed to uh turn a blind eye to the whole thing um but i think there needs to be some kind of a complication to make it more interesting and so what i want to do is roll up another faction that's going to come in um so I have my rule set up here. Uh, if you're looking on watching on YouTube, I have my rule set open. Otherwise, I'll just narrate what I'm doing. I'm rolling a D10 um, to determine what type of faction. And that is a seven. So they're a faction for knowledge. Um, another archivist faction. I'm not sure I want another archivist faction. I I'm going to veto that one. And I'm going to roll another D10. Uh, five nobles. Okay, this one is interesting. It could be uh, nobles looking to uh, move up in rank or nobles looking to uh, uh, maintain their place. Uh, maybe they're, they're getting in more and more difficulty because of a, an actual growing middle class. So they they want to try to stay. Uh, they want to somehow use their artifacts either through using them for the power or selling them for power coupons, money. Um, so one way or the other, they want to acquire the artifacts to uh, uh, keep power, gain power, either way. All right, so let's roll some goals. Um, I think I already said their goals then. Their goal is... I'm gonna I'm gonna roll d6. Uh, are they or three d6? Are they trying to uh, move up in rank? Uh, yes, they are. So these are lowly nobles, kind of like the bottom rung of the noble uh, peerage, and they're wanting to move up in rank. Uh, so that kind of makes them a little desperate, maybe. Um, and. What is their strength? I'm going to roll d12. Da, 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 da. Besides being nobles, uh, number. There's a lot of them. Um, these are the lower no nobles. Um, a lot of distance, distant cousins and such. All right. Um, and I don't think that they're going to be uh, getting to the trappings of a faction. I don't think that they have like markers and colors and everything yet. I think they're just... Uh, they they see they see the merchant guilds coming in and doing better than they are, and they don't like it. Um, so they're they're just trying to hit this shipment, um, to hinder the merchant guilds. That's all. Um, they're trying to maintain. Uh, they're they're trying to move up their. They're trying to move up by acquiring these artifacts, which will put them above the merchant guild. Um, but if that doesn't work, then they'll destroy the artifacts, which will put the merchant guilds back under them. So either they're moving up or the merchant guilds are moving down. That's their goal. I don't know if that makes sense the way I'm wording it. Makes sense in my head. All right. Um, so we're going to call these the the low nobles. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take this one and copy. 
Oh, no. There we go. All right. So these are going to be. Low nobles coming into Grand Central Station. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll draw a little connector. Pong. All right. Delete. And they're heisting same targets. Enter. I have to click out of it. I always forget. All right. I'm not sure if I spelled any of that right. Don't really care. All right, they're heisting the same target at the Grand Central Station. The low nobles is what I'm going to call them. Um, all right, and there, there are many of them. So I'm going to say uh, 2D12. Oh, all right, 15. 15 people, 15 low nobles are coming in. Um, What about the Blade Archivists? Um... I don't think they're going to have more than eight. So uh, 3D4? They got seven. All right. They have seven. Um, that's a three, a two, and a two. So they have seven versus, what was it, 15, I think it was. Um, all right. I wish I had somewhere just for regular notes. I'm going to try this one. I've never tried one before. All right. Let's see. Uh, seven, eight archivists. Okay, versus. Uh, how many was it? I think it's fifteen. Low nobles. All right, that'll help me remember if I come back to it. All right. Um. I should just make the owl bear rodeo really big, and uh, instead of doing the Google drawing, I might transfer everything over. All right, so we have the blade archivist and the low nobles. Um, the blade archivists, what was their strength? Their strength was money. They're 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 pretty rich. They're good at obfuscation and infiltration. All right. Um. So the blade archivists are going to come in and uh oops, wrong button. The we'll say it's after midnight, it's really late. Jafing works the, the graveyard shift shift. And um I said it's kind of like a, a tropical area, so I don't think it's gonna be really cold enough for fog to come up. Um, but it's humid. Um, the the paving stones and uh, concrete and everything's going to be uh, uh, kind of slick with condensation. Um, there was, of course, a rain shower that afternoon, and uh, Jafing's walking around. Jafing's a little nervous, um, but also is kind of having big dreams. Um, of what it means to join these blade archivists, and I'm oh, gonna put that name. I keep forgetting blade archivists. All right, and so he kind of has like this. This it's it's getting to his head. His head's getting enlarged. Um, thinking that he's going to somehow be suddenly wealthy. Um. And, but he's also nervous because he could be in trouble. Uh, I rolled earlier, uh, like two episodes ago, he did already have some sort of trouble in his past. Um, I have an inkling of what that is. Um, and part of it is uh, he's lied to get his job. And he, if he is found out, then he'll lose his job and... Uh, he's not really in a place to easily gain employment. Good. Um, so that's that's where he's at. Um, so Jay Fing is worried about tonight, really worried, really on edge, um, but also excited. Um, and someone's going to come up. Nada's not going to be there tonight. Um, instead, it's going to be 
a couple of guys. Um, one guy is going to be very portly. Um, a few of them are fairly nondescript. And uh, one guy is going to be like really well in shape. Um, and they're they're wearing very nondescript clothes. Um, they look like they could be dock workers. Um, they they have the trappings of a dock worker. Uh, it's not really cold enough for them to have like the the Benny the be beanies whatever you call the hat. Um, and it's like jackets and stuff. Um, but they they do have like a uh leather leather breeches, so it doesn't get like cuts and tears from crates and stuff crushing against them. Um, and they have the tools of dock workers. They they look like dock workers, except for the really portly guy, because doing that sort of work, he shouldn't be that large. Um, and one of them has the 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 arrayed pin, the the sabers arrayed. Um. They they have the pin like somewhere where Jafin can easily see it. So Jafin recognizes him. Ah, oh, uh, good evening to you guys. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I believe that you're working at a uh, platform. Platform. Uh, how many platforms? I'm going to say D six. Which platform? Platform six today. Um, and the guy's like, yeah, yeah, that's the one. We're, we're on our way there. Everything's been quiet tonight. Yes, yeah, everything's been quiet. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that the merchants changed their minds about uh, which ship they want to send this stuff on. But we got to get it transferred over. Um, so they go down and, and get to work. And the reason why they had uh, contacted Jafing is because... Uh, Doc Six is part of J Fing's patrol. So J Fing, uh, like an hour later, J Fing's coming by, and these guys, uh, have like crates open, and they well, ba basically their plan is there's there's in, in, empty crates that were shipped in ahead of time, um, that are to be delivered like in town but are just currently just like got unloaded onto the dock and so they're taking the stuff that's that's uh set up to be um uh loaded onto an outgoing vessel they're taking those and transferring it into the incoming uh crates and that way they that way basically the stuff's going to be delivered to them um so they're they're in the middle of that. Jafing comes by and sees, um, kind of turning a blind eye, and then uh, these nobles come in, and nobles uh, will say they're easy to recognize because they wear frilly shirts. Um, that they got they got these long loose um, uh, cuffs. And uh, open uh, neckline with some, you know, crisscross laces, and you know, it looks very, very frou frou. And they usually carry uh, uh, dueling swords, and so they come in and, hey, 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 what are you guys doing with this cargo? Oh, sir, we got it here on the on the bill of laden. We're supposed to get everything transferred over for the, um. It's, it's supposed to go on to another shipment. The merchants decided that they don't want it to go on this ship after all. And the the nobles are like, well, this stuff's not going out at all. Um, and they start pulling swords on these uh, peasants in their eyes. And um, are, are the nobles willing to kill? Uh, I'm going to re-roll everything. Here we go. Uh, three, four, two. Not really. They're hesitant to kill, um, but they are not against hurting somebody. So they come up. All right, you you guys. We 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 need you guys to go over to dock three over there. Um, there's a big mess. You guys need to get cleaned up. 
Oh, well, sir, we will do that as soon as we get done unloading this cargo here. And so the nobles, uh, the 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 portly guy, um, he's kind of their de facto leader, I believe. I'll name him later. Um, he's gonna pull out his his sword, and it's it's a fine sword, and he's like, "You guys need to go now." And uh, I think it's gonna be a roll for initiative. How do I want to run it? I don't want to run it where all seven are rolling against all fifteen. I think the seven are running improvised weapons versus the 15 um, who are ro rolling with fine swords and probably have been uh, trained for dueling. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Blade Archivists a D4. Da, 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 da. D6. Uh, I'm going to say they have skirmish. So that yeah, mm -hmm. but it's hard. So it's going to be a d6. So they're going to have a d6. They're going to roll a d6 and that's not a roll. That's just get it on the board. Um All right, so I'm going to talk about how combat goes in uh roll for saves because it is a bit weird. In roll for saves, we have Okay, I didn't know I that token's going to be on top there. Uh, okay, stop making things. All right. So uh, the bad guys in Roll for Saves, they have uh, several stats. Um, they have their, their grit, and I'm going to give these guys 15 grit. One person is one grit. Um, they're, they're, they're not in it to die. They don't really want to hurt somebody. Uh, they'll run very quickly. So they have 15 grit. And then a bad guy also has a, um, a base damage. So these nobles, like I said, they're not really here to hurt. I'm going to give them a base damage of one. So one base. And then NPCs also have... Uh, it's under monster. Where is monster? There it is, monster creator. So um, a mundane ability. I'm going to give them a, a mundane ability. Um, This can be... I'm going to say it from, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, any of the 12. So I'm going to roll 12, see what they have. Nine is they escape. All right. Um. Yeah, so they'll escape and they'll come back and confront them again. All right. So. Okay. Oh, that's too big. All right. So this is how you make a creature in Roll for Saves. Now, what's going to happen is the there will be um uh what you call it? Initiative. GM downtime. There will be initiative. And if the Basically, the characters roll. If the characters pass the save, um, it's a save like anything else. If they pass the save, then they go before the GM. If they uh, don't pass the save, they go after the GM. The GM rolls randomly here. Um, 1d4 for the first round, 1d6 for the second round. It escalates, gets more and more difficult. Um, and then the uh, based on the outcome of the GM's role determines what the NPCs do in the action. And then the, the next round initiative is rolled again. So I'm going to roll initiative for um, J Fing separately. J Fing is nautical. So J Fing is going to have a D8. And then the other guys, J Fing has a weapon. So J Fing's fine. Um, the other guys are improvising weapons, so it's hard because they, they have like crowbars and such. Um, and they are not nautical. Uh, they do have skirmish, so that means the, the D4 goes up back up to D6. So Jafing's going to be a D8. 
the other guys are a d6 and it's gonna be the same die um i'm gonna roll once for their initiative and then i'll roll the same die again for their attack so initiative is five for jfing and three for the other guys so jfing actually goes first so jfing sees everyone pull out swords and jfing is going to uh take a hack at the guys so jfing rolls a four four so jfing uh, hits one of the nobles. Um, yeah, like he's like, uh, they they pull out swords. Jason's like, you guys need to go. And he pulls out his machete. He's like, and they're like, all right, little boy, we're we're the nobles here. He's like, yes, but I'm security, and they're supposed to be here. You're not. And they're like, look here, little one, you need to turn. We have more swords than you. And he just takes a, a little hack at the um, the portly noble. And, oh, yeah, his, his sword is easy. His machete is easy. Oh, he should be a D10. Sorry, Jafing. You should be a D10. Okay, that's a fail. Okay. that, that That's actually funny. I, I, I rolled a better die and got a worse result. All right, so he pulls out his, sword, his machete. Um... And no, I was going to do it as a D8. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to go back to the original roll. That was a four. Uh, thinking off the top of my head while I'm recording. That's why the other podcasts don't do that. They don't have as many mistakes. So, um, Jafing pulls out his sword. You need guys need to go. Um, the first roll was a four. So he, the, the sword is easy. The machete is easy, but machete is not really a weapon. So it's hard. And those cancel each other out. So the nautical just bumps them up from a D6 to a D8. That's all. That's reason. That's my reasoning of why I'm doing everything. Um, so Jfing gets a good chop onto someone. Um, like if you're not aware, machete is basically like a long axe. It's made to cut through plants. Um, it is a tool, not a weapon. Um, and so he just hacks. Uh, at somebody, uh, gets him on the arm, luckily misses a major vein, but does connect to bone. Um, this person is in pain, and blood is pretty bad. And the other ones, they're going to be very, like, that one guy is out, um, drops his sword. Uh, was it Portly Guy? Uh, no, it was not portly guy. It was just another guy. The guy closest, just another guy closer. And like he, he's kind of getting antsy and kind of moving and twitching his blade a little bit. And J Fing got extra antsy and just chopped. Um just kind of like pushed the blade aside and chopped in with his machete. And so that guy just dropped his sword. Um three other guys just run away really quickly. Um, so this is gonna go down to uh, 11 low nobles and it's low nobles turn so what happens is oops, the GM makes a combat roll the first one's going to be a d4 boom that is a one so the GM picks uh so the 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 these guys are all the same they're I'm just running them as a group and so they do one damage um so this is one grit to everybody. So Jfing goes down to five grit. Um, and then the blade archivists are gonna go down to I can't see that. There, now I can see. All right, the blade archivist are gonna go down to six. Um, all right, and a full brawl is coming out. Now the blade archivists are gonna roll. Um, they have skirmish, but they are improvising weapons, so they're rolling a d6. They have a six. Um, so they're... These guys have done some stuff. Um, it's not their first rodeo, and they don't mind causing some damage. So they're they're hitting the low nobles pretty hard. Um, there's only going to be five of them left. And then... There, so it's just like a big 
a chaotic melee right now. Everything's everywhere. Um, rolling initiative again. So that's a D8, D6, uh, 4, 4. They both pass. Um, I'm going to let Jafing go first. Jafing rolls a 6. Um, all right, so Jafing... Jafing is going to... Uh, yeah, he's just going to, like, come in hacking and everything. Um, the rest of the nobles, they all, like... um either you know surrender very quickly um i didn't really have i guess i shouldn't say that they escaped the, in the first round they, they didn't run away they they kind of just like oh we don't we don't want that we don't want combat and they kind of like drop their swords like all right that's we, no holy shit and they ran try to help their buddy um so they're going to have uh we're going to say they have three four Five, six. Did they kill everybody? Um, did anybody die? Uh, no, nobody dies. Um, they're they're seriously wounded. Um, but nobody dies. Um, on either end. Um, there 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 are possibly concussions, broken ribs, broken back, broken wrists and elbows. Um, joints are broken. Um, uh. Pretty bad cuts and and stabs and such, but nothing that they can't live through, especially with the uh, improving medicine in town. So the fifteen low nobles are taken out. Um, I wrote escaps, escaps, sipse, sipe, escapsipe. I can read that. All right, so they they take out a lot of nobles. Um. I'm getting right at time to finish this. So they 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 overcome the nobles. Um they're like, all right, all right, we 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 give up, we give up. And uh the, they're so scared. They they shoot them away. Um I think it's very likely that the portly guy will remember them. Uh that's bad for chafing, so yes. The party guy is going to remember one, the arrayed sabers, and two, chafing. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna remember those two things, and partly will remember. All right. Um, and they go away. Jafing's crew, um, they're really impressed by Jafing's um, uh, sword play, machete play. <laughs> it's not really a sword. Um, it's a long axe knife. Um, but they're really impressed with the machete play. Um, and they 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 congratulate him. Um, uh, he got a little scratched up. Not bad. Um, they, they finish up everything. Um, I'm going to say one of the guys is one of the guys actually a dock worker. Yes. One of the guys is a dock worker. And, um, so he has forged documents, um, for the changes for the work that they were doing. And, uh, he's going to help Jafing uh, write up the report uh, that they were attacked uh, by. They're not going to say it was nobles. They're just going to say by, uh, you know, ruffians during the the night. Uh, he had a special requisition from a merchant um, who wanted who paid him and uh, some extra money to get things moved over. So he brought a couple of friends and they moved the the equipment over um uh he's gonna say that like he just changed the uh, the markings on the crates but actually they opened the crates and moved things over and whatnot and so early in the morning before the paperwork hits the the shipments are going to go out because the docks wake up early um and before the managers come in and by the time the managers come in everything's gone um so they can't check 
the the crates or anything. It's just it's it's loaded. It's gone. And that was um Javing's adventure. Um, that was a quick combat, two rounds, very weak. Um, foes. Uh, I did want to have uh some more complication coming in, and this complication is going to be uh some lowly nobles uh that might remember Jafing's name. Well, they do remember Jafing's name. One of them does. Um, and that can cause more problems later. All right. Oh, um, that's going to do us for now. Uh, if you uh, like what you hear, like what you see, then uh, consider becoming a Patreon or finding uh, more information on the blog at blogspot.com, uh, roll for saves.blogspot.com. Uh, questions or suggestions, you can email me at uh, roll for saves at gmail.com. Uh, I'm on YouTube. Uh, I'm now on Apple Podcasts and all those other things, uh, which no one's listening to this before I got on there, so that's okay. All right. Um, I think that's going to do it for the day. Uh, play games and have fun. Bye. <laughs>